Hi, today the internet is so important for each of us, just turn it off and life stops. Therefore, when it slows down, it is a serious problem. Let's consider the reasons why this can happen in this video and find out how to stabilize it. Subscribe to the PCNP channel if you haven't already, there are many useful videos about computers. And if this video helps you, remember that the best gratitude is your comment below and share this episode with your friends in social networks. So, how can we understand that the Internet has really become slower? Let me remind you how this can assessed. Firstly, there are sites that measure the speed of the Internet. Here is one of them. It shows download and upload speed and ping also. Ping is the time it takes to send one packet of data over the Internet in milliseconds. The smaller it is, the better. It is believed that a good pin is less than 40 milliseconds, but in reality, for normal internet providers, it is 2-5 milliseconds. And one more thing that will help you evaluate the speed of the internet is the task manager. Let's open it and here in the performance tab there is a Wi-Fi and Ethernet section for direct cable connection. So you can see what speed the computer is currently using and on the processes tab in the network column you can even see how a particular process or program uses the internet. Now let's look what could be the causes of unstable or slow internet. And let's start with the physical. First reason – a problem at the provider level. It can manifest at hours when many neighbors are at home, for example in the evening after work or in the morning on a weekend, and when they use the internet intensively at the same time. In such cases, if your ISP's equipment is outdated, it may not be able to handle it, and the speed of the internet will drop for a while and then recover. What can be done in this case? Almost nothing. You can only describe the situation to the technical support of the provider and regularly file complaints, even better with your neighbors. Or you can change your ISP. Reason 2 is the wires leading from the provider's equipment to your router or computer. Sometimes the wires are connected with ordinary twists, and although this is often enough, over time these twists can oxidize and conductivity is lost. Check if there are such twists in your apartment or if there are other wire connections, sockets for example, make these connections more reliable. The third reason of unstable internet is a router. It happens that it is in no longer in the best condition due to constant load and it needs to be rebooted periodically to give your devices full speed. In this case, try resetting its firmware to factory settings. To do this, go to its settings through the browser, usually the address of the control panel of the router is like this, and the password is indicated on the router or on its package. In the settings, find the reset button or use the hide and reset button on the router box, which is pressed with a paper clip or a needle. Just don't forget that after that you will need to reconnect it to the internet and configure it correctly. You may even have to contact the provider's technical support for help. If the reset didn't solve the problem, it is better to purchase a new router. Choose from those that have a lot of good reviews, they are more reliable. But first check the following reasons. And fourth, weak Wi-Fi signal. Wi-Fi signal strength is affected by obstacles. If doors and even plasterboard partitions are not a problem for him, then, for example, reinforced concrete walls in which metal reinforcement is present reduce signal power several times. And if there are two such walls on the way from the router to your device, you should not count on good internet. Keep this in mind when installing a router or your workplace, then the signal strength will not be lost along the way and your PC or phone will have the maximum speed. The fifth reason – the browser. This reason may occur on older computers with few resources. When you use the Internet for a long time, in your browser, Google Chrome, Opera or Firefox, the history of pages viewed and downloaded pictures, scripts, etc. are accumulated. The computer simply cannot cope with the processing of this entire array and because of this, pages open slowly. And the browser itself takes a very long time to start. What can be done in such a case? 
in each browser program in the settings there is a history section. Find the button to clear it and clean your browsing history, as well as the cache. Passwords, cookies can be left for your convenience. After that, the browser should start working faster. If you have such a problem, also try not to have many tabs open at the same time. This will reduce the load on computer resources. Another problem with the browser is add-ons. Some of the installed add-ons may be buggy and because of it the entire browser slows down. Try disabling all add-ons. If the problem is solved, turn on one at a time and check. This way you figure out which add-on is broken and remove it. The sixth reason – viruses. Many viruses are designed to infiltrate your computer and use its resources for their own purposes. They can do some calculations and send data, or they can simply view ads and earn money for their creators. Therefore, if you see suspicious internet activity or some obscure program loads the network in the task manager, it makes sense to download an antivirus. For example, one of the currently indicated on the screen. And after installing it, scan and clean your computer. Some viruses can be so difficult to remove that it is easier to format the C drive and install Windows on a new one. Therefore, in these issues, watch how to protect computer against viruses. And the seventh reason – problems with Windows. Not only in the browser there can be problems. There are a variety of options for problems with the Windows system or with drivers for network equipment. In this case, you may even need to reinstall Windows or reset it to factory settings. We have separate videos about this, you can watch. There is also a request to experienced viewers. Write in the comments what other reasons for the decrease in internet speed were not indicated, and if possible how they can be solved. This will be helpful to others. And if this video helped you, be sure to share it in the comments and send it to your friends. Watch other episodes on our channel and improve your PC and internet skills. See you on there.